To present users with a multiple choice option from which they can make a single or multiple selection, use radio buttons or checkboxes. You would generally use both in groups, but it is essential for radio buttons. From the toolbar, start by using either of the group options. Use checkboxes when you want to permit multiple selections. There are some specific formatting options with a group. As usual, the name of the group is important. Check the Show Header box and enter the header text into the caption field to include a header. You can also set the header height and alignment from here. The style will be assumed from the app's style settings, something we saw in a previous tutorial. But you can override them here just as you can with any other object. A group will often benefit from a border. The individual checkboxes inside the group are the objects that the user would select. Each one should have a proper name. The caption is the text the user will see. Check the selected box to pre-select one or more of the checkboxes. A radio button group has similar formatting options to the checkbox group. One key difference is that a user may only make a single selection from the available radio buttons in a group. That's why radio buttons should be kept in groups. The caption is the text that the user will see. A radio button, unlike a checkbox, also has a value property. When a radio button is selected, it will also return the value as a parameter, often valuable for behaviours and reporting. Typically, you might assign an account number as the value. A unique feature of a radio button group is that as a single radio button only can be selected from a group, the group will assume the caption and value of the selected radio button. This can be useful with behaviours, but other tutorials will cover that.